My name is Murray and I help people figure out how to make this stream look better and add more features to it so that it's more interesting for your viewers so that people keep coming back and you can retain a lot more viewers at the same time. I try to keep my streams engaging and fun, but today I'm going to show you how to add your Twitch chat messages on screen. So if they ask a question and you want to highlight that message, show it on screen, you can. I'm also going to show you how to use redemption points on your Twitch channel so that they can show their message also on your stream. First, go to feature dot chat and click the login button. Authorize the app to access your Twitch account and then accept the privacy policy. When you first open the website, feature chat is disabled, so you need to enable it with this button. Now a bunch of options populate the screen. You can change the theme and make it look more unique to what you want it to look. Change the colors as well so that it's truly your own. You have quite a few preset options, but you can even have a custom theme and you can input your own HTML or CSS if you really get creative and if you know coding. But but I don't, so I don't know. If any of you know how to code, let me know. Let's make a free one for the community. I'm down. So first we want to be able to set this up in OBS so that it works seamlessly and then we can come back later and customize it all. So under my browser source, copy the main link here and then go to OBS and create a new browser source in your scene. Paste in the link you just copied and make the dimensions the same as your stream. Now one quick note here before we continue, you can choose to control the audio via OBS with this check button here, but I don't need to do that because you can control the volume from featured chat. So it just depends on your preferences. Now type a message in your Twitch chat longer than one word and then go to your featured chat again. Click on the tab My Dashboard and you'll see that message show up in the chat log. Click the plus button on that chat message and that'll send it to the queue. Now you can hover over that message to see what it'll look like and even add more messages to the queue at the same time. To make the message show up on your stream, you have to hit this screen button and then it'll actually show up on your stream. You can also hit the purple play button here to send the message automatically to your stream without it going into your queue. And then once the timer runs out that you set in your settings, which we'll take a look at that in a second, it'll hide that message and show the next one. Now here are more details to fine tune these settings and make it look your own, but also to make sure that it shows up properly. And if you redeem the channel points, things work out the way they should. Back in your settings, you can change the position of the message the transition type and the delay time, which is how long the message shows up on screen. I set mine to 15 seconds for my stream so that when chat highlights a message with the channel redemption, it shows up on my stream for about 15 seconds. You can choose to play audio when the messages show up on screen and you have a few options, but there's still no custom option, which I would love to see in the near future. Now, when you click the button broadcaster skip queue, you can now skip the queue and just send that message straight to show up on screen rather than sending that to to the queue for it to wait there. It just removes an extra click and I found that really helpful because I didn't want to have to click once, send the message to the queue, click again to send that to the stream. Now if I just click that button once, instead of going to the queue, it bypasses the queue and goes straight to the stream. Now with this checkbox enabled, you can add this chat log to your OBS or Streamlabs OBS if you use that, which you should be using OBS Studio. By the way, if you close your browser with feature chat on it, everything's still gonna work just fine, which is a really nice feature. So go to your settings in feature chat, scroll down to the OBS doc URL section and copy that link. Then go to your stream software of choice and click view docs, custom browser docs. Type in the name you want for this window, paste the link, and apply that. You can now show your chat messages on screen right from OBS. You don't have to have your browser open, that's a nice touch. Now, if you want to allow your viewers to use channel points to highlight their message on the stream, this is a really nice feature. I love it. And this is the main reason why I chose to use featured chat. Here's how you do that. In your settings on featured chat, check on the button, automatically put highlight messages into the on deck queue. Then go to your Twitch channel and redeem a highlighted chat message. Now in featured chat, the message will show up in the queue. To make that message play, just hit the purple play button. And now the message in this queue will show up in your OBS stream automatically. Automatically. But then you can see here that if you have another highlighted message come through and you have not adjusted the amount of time the message stays up on screen, it could take a while. So go back to your settings and adjust the amount of time it stays on screen. A nice little feature is that you don't even have to have featured chat open in your browser for this all to work. You can close your browser, still redeem channel points and highlight messages and it's all gonna show up on your stream regardless. Now let's say your chat is busy and you have a lot of people talking and asking questions. You can also have your mods help you out with this. With a click of a button, you can add all your mods to be able to send messages to your queue. You can always remove the mods that you wanted, but um, just be careful who you do do that because they might go rogue. I have 
mods and they do troll sometimes <laughs> i'm looking at you tortilla champ oh and lipster lipster is a bigger troll my goodness <laughs> but he's an og so he's allowed to <laughs> so pretty straightforward very easy as well i hope you guys enjoyed if you found value or enjoyed the video just in general leave a like that'd be appreciated thank you so much it helps the video out i'll see you next time but until then make something great